During my initial days, I was involved in automotive racing. I became aware of problems of uh, sloshing of uh, fuel in tanks. And when I was designing large tanks for delivery of fuel, I was familiar with uh, baffled tanks and the problems associated with uh, liquids moving in an unpredictable manner and sloshing in tanks. And when I became involved in testing for a company called Rapid Spray, who came up with an idea of putting removable baffles into tanks. And we have two different sizes. These can be added to tanks without baffles to have the same and in fact a better effect than baffles within tanks. You don't have the sloshing problem when the tank is full because the water's got nowhere to go. But when it's partly filled, somewhere between three quarters and half, that's the the worst situation. To do our testing we had to find a site and we found an excellent site in the Driver Education Centre at uh, Shepparton. Werner Isle of Werner Isle Consulting carried out a series of extensive tests on Rapid Spray's ball baffle system in conjunction with Richard Larson of LoadSafe Australia. The data locking equipment that we had was mounted on the truck and records the, the speed and the deceleration and the direction of the truck to then carry out a series of brake tests and a series of lane change tests. We found that when we analysed and graphed the data, uh, that the braking distances are shorter. The effort that was applied by the driver was measured by a calibrated um, sensor fitted to the brake pedal, and we found that there was less effort required to do different levels of gentle, medium and emergency type braking. Then we also set out a lane change test. So the vehicle tilts to one side, then the other side, and the liquid in the tank sloshes about, but never in the right direction, and always in an unpredictable manner. With the lane change test, we found that the driver could maneuver through the witch's hats from one lane to the other and back again at a higher speed with the baffles fitted than he could without the baffles. The sloshing was eliminated and so we had a steady load on the back and the driver knew exactly how the vehicle would behave. When there is a change in the behaviour of the, the load, namely the sloshing backwards and forwards and side to side, the braking is not steady. It is hard braking, soft braking, hard braking, soft braking. It is like somebody is pushing the truck in the back. So there's a significant reduction in the wear and tear on the tyres, on the brakes, the suspension components, and in general the mechanical components of the vehicle. The other benefit is obviously the safety feature that comes with the improvement in the safety with the ball baffles fitted because the driver can predict how much braking effort he has to apply uh, correctly to the point where he needs to stop. Richard Larson of LoadSafe Australia confirmed that the Rapid Spray Ball Baffle System demonstrated compliance with the Load Restraint Guide Performance Standards for bulk liquids for partially filled large single compartment tanks. Improved control means improved safety.